Feminism, the radical notion that women are people. The 20th century was full of change for minority groups, especially women. A young activist, Judy Chicago, created works of art that were inspirational to all women. One of my favorites was the dinner party art installation that debuted in 1979. This art installation featured many prominent women throughout history, but as with any form of art, it received heavy criticism. One critique that many critics had in common was the lack of other prominent women that seemed to be left out of the dinner party. Due to this, Judy Chicago came up with the idea to add an accessory piece, the International Honor Quilt. She specified guidelines that had to be followed, but other than that, the participants were able to create their own quilt patch in honor of a prominent female figure in their life. This led to over 500 quilting panels being created to honor women, women organizations, and women political issues. These quilt panels traveled with the dinner party art installation for some time. Now these panels can be viewed at the University of Louisville Height Art Institute in Louisville, Kentucky. If at first you do not succeed, try, try again. This quote, simple in nature, cannot be more true. Margaret T. Burroughs, an African-American activist, embodied this quote in its entirety. Being of African descent, she faced challenges due to her gender and her skin color. However, these challenges did not stop her. From an early age, she knew that the inequality she faced daily was not acceptable for anyone. She attended Eaglewood High School, where she served as an official for the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People's Youth Council. Upon graduating from high school, she attended the Chicago Teachers College, now known as Chicago State University, where she earned her teaching certificate in 1939. She then decided to obtain her bachelor's and master's degree in art studies from the School of Art Institute of Chicago. She completed both degrees and was awarded with them in 1948. Margaret Burrow stayed in Chicago after completing her education to shape the young minds of the future. She taught at the DuSable High School from 1946 to 1969 and was a professor in humanities at the Kennedy King College in Elmshurst College where she taught African American art and culture from 1969 to 1979. During her teaching years, she also went on to establish many art centers and most famously, the DuSable Museum. This museum, previously known as the Ebony Museum of Negro History, debuted in her living room in 1961. This museum, one of the first of its kind, was created to correct the perceived omission of black history and culture in the educational system of the day. The DuSable Museum was Margaret's most prized possession. She worked her entire life fighting for the recognition of black culture, and with the creation of the museum, she did just that. The museum moved to its final home in 1973, where it remains today as the oldest museum of black culture in the United States. Margaret Burroughs embodies a feminist. She touched many lives until the day she passed in 2010. However, she remains in the lives of many people. Thelma K. Wheaton, an activist and teacher, is one of those people. Thelma made a quilt patch honoring the work that Margaret Burroughs did with the DuSable Museum, a museum that Thelma visited regularly in Chicago. The quilt panel is hand quilted with a stitching coming truly from the heart. It has a pink outside border with Dr. Margaret T. Burroughs in Chicago, Illinois sewn onto it. The interior of the triangular patch contains a replica of the famous DuSable Museum that Margaret spent much of her life on. The stitching on the patch is a bit erratic, but is still very beautiful. You can tell a lot of time and thought was put into the quilting panel to honor all of Margaret's hard work. A world where black lives matter. A world where all lives matter. A world for everyone is what we are fighting for. As we close the chapter on the 20th century, we are reminded of the work that activists like Margaret Burroughs did during her life. We are reminded that there is an activist inside each of us begging to come out. Never lose hope and always try, try again. Mm -hmm.